what is going on everybody and welcome to this awesome video where we are going to build a website using flask framework and we're gonna embed our cat dog prediction or classification neural network into this website using the flask framework as you could see that this makes a uh, really good predictions and it all depends on your model how how good is your model and plus generally connects your uh, python script into this our html code and whole code will be in down description i will link a, a github repository and you could access this code from there before starting this video please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more, more such awesome videos and let's jump into the video itself actually what is the uh, main idea behind this uh, is that uh, we're gonna a user will gonna upload the image whenever whenever we click on this button and chooses our image and presses the submit button it it will generally save the image into this static folder and later on when we we'll when we'll be calling this home or prediction html page then we will gonna access this image from that location and we're gonna make prediction from there and uh, that was the main basic idea behind what we are going to build and let's jump into that how is everything happening in the back end all right so basically we are importing flask render template render and send from directory and we are importing cv2 for reading the image and applying some transformations to it and of course numpy and sequential dense dropout actually you might be wondering that oh, why are why i am importing these many when i can just model dot save and do that model over here actually uh, i was roaming around in, on, on on Kaggle and I found this notebook uh, and this guy made a really awesome classification actually I have my own but that was not really awesome I haven't even applied that uh, image pre-processing part or image augmentation that was my first model actually so I decided to use his model and he also used uh, model.save but the problem is that this guy has uh, model.save weights so what does that mean he saved the weights but not the model architecture so what we have to do is to uh, let me take you over there we have to redefine whole architecture and then and at the last we will gonna load weights for that architecture and that is how it works so so basically up to here we are just building our model you could uh, rerun this uh, this notebook by copy and edit and adding a line model.c if you want but actually i'm okay with that then uh, i'm using count equals to zero basically uh, you could see that our images are saved in order zero one two three four five six actually that is all because of this count variable and i'm in incrementing this every time i save the image and uh, uh, these are the basic lines which we have to use and this is send file max age default basically this is for removing the caches actually when we upload the image and read the image into prediction.html page then it shows us the old image that is all because of caching and so for that i have used this line and this tells when you are base directory then render this index.html which is right here and in that index.html i have a form where i have a image file input button class as a class and this is the class of button for styling and on submit i am saying that you call this or home function you call you go to this home function and what i am doing that 
if I go to this home function right here and I'm using global count to access that uh, count variable which I have defined over there then I am saying uh, request dot file that image name file I am saying that uh, whatever image the user have uploaded store that image in this img variable and then I'm saying img dot save and I'm using format count uh, it means that first time it will be 0 dot jpg next time 1 dot jpg and so on and as I've told you before then I am reading the image using cv2 dot read function and uh, then I am applying the resize 128, 128, pre-processing that image, reshaping the image and model dot predict. Now why 128 and 128? Actually this guy has used 128 as height and 128 as width. So we have to do the same as we are using his model. Then I am storing the predictions to this variable and actually this returns a really large float uh, value which is like 0 0.1234781313 uh, and so on. Uh, what I want is to just round off that to uh, two decimal places which, which is like 0 0.12 or 0 0.50, 0 0.81 and so on you could change this if you if you want and then i am i am storing those values to x and y and i am creating a new numpy array and so and storing that numpy array to this spreads variable and i am incrementing a value of count of course i have to do that so that my image do not get overwritten next time i upload the image then I am rendering this HTML page and I am sending the data of these spreads to show the user. Uh, uh, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, actually it is reloading. Let's rerun this. Alright, so this is my y variable and this is my x variable which means my first is for dog accuracy second okay my zeroth index is for cat accuracy and my first index is for dog accuracy then let's have a look on prediction.html actually i'm using if else code block and i'm checking if the dog accuracy is greater than 50 percent then it's a dog and else it's a cat and this time is 0 0.95 which is greater than uh, 50 percent so uh, i will output i think it's a dog as written over here then i am i am actually showing the user the image which you could see right here i am showing user the image which he just have uploaded actually two things are happening the user is uploading the image and downloading the same image on the next page what i'm using is image source equals url for load image and let's have a look what load image path looks like okay let's run this load image path load underscore image and this is my load underscore image what is happening i am using send from directory uh, function from this flask module and this expects us two arguments one is the folder or directory and another is the file name which is uh, count.jpg as we have incremented the value of count so we have to write count minus one and i am sending that file to the page prediction.html using the send from directory function and that was the whole code and this is the style.css for applying the styles to our website and that was just a simple and yet powerful code for um, for embedding our cat dog prediction model into this website using the plus framework at last if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video